Our hearts go out to all of the folks affected by this tragedy right here in Oxford. We spoke with Justin Schilling's mom and Tate Mears' parents. They said really this last year they've gone through the spectrum of emotions as they, as they process their grief. And we do want to thank them for sitting down with us during what is just a devastating week. November 30th, 2021, police by the hundreds rushed to Oxford High School. Parents in peril waiting for any sign of their children. An active shooter and fellow student wreaked havoc on their school, changing their lives forever. 11 injured, four students shot and killed. Here we are one year later. What does it mean? Well, we made it, we all made it a full year. It hasn't been easy by any measure. Jill Suave lost her beloved Justin that day, murdered in the bathroom after a torturous several minutes in there with the shooter. Her 17-year-old son donating his organs in a final act of kindness among so many in his short life. We can all be more like Justin. We can give freely. It doesn't cost a dime. We can be there for each other and lift each other up. And that's really how he lived. So I'd love him to be remembered really for that. On the one-year mark, Jill clinging to those closest. We are going to go to the cemetery and we're going to be with family and friends. Yep. Comfort food, pass a dish, and just be together. Jill sitting side by side with Buck and Sherry Meir, who are part of the same civil lawsuit against Oxford schools, represented by attorney Ven Johnson, their son, Tate. Tater was a kind, loving soul. Um, made, loved making people laugh, um, wanted to be everybody's friend. He was Sherry Mears' baby, the youngest of three sons gone in what they call the worst day of their lives. They tell us they still cry every day. What do you miss most? His laugh. It was contagious. He had a great belly laugh and a great hug. He was a good hugger and a loyal friend. Number 42, the football star's number and the inspiration behind the 42 Strong Foundation, offering peer-to-peer -peer mentorship run by the Mears. These parents leaning on legacy to keep their children's memory alive. We want all of our, all of the four angels remembered for the love that they gave and the example that they, that they showed. Sadness, of course, paramount for the parents that we spoke to, but along with that spectrum of emotions we mentioned earlier, sadness and frustration. These parents say that the systems failed these kids. We'll get more into that coming up later at 6. But for now, live in Oxford, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. And as you told that story, Jessica, I, I know myself, parents at home, families, you really, your heart does go out to all these families impacted. And if anything, perhaps, if you use the word positive, could be taken from this, is that now parents are paying closer attention. School districts are, are tightening things up and looking at the, their security and paying closer attention. I mean, it's made everyone in this state look closer at the problem and at solving it. And that's really what we talk about, the legacy of these lives lost and those injured and the parents. They all want to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And they're really using their voice, their platform to put an emphasis on mental health and really just paying extra attention to our kids and especially the kids inside the schools.